inside of our factory is you'll see a variety of sensors that we do make here, um, like light curtains and other simple sensors to actually encoders. But when I talk about simple sensors is we take these sensors that can communicate in the first step and in this demo that we'll show you as well um, later with Deepak and Pradeep is we're actually gonna show off a sensor that talks iLink. This happens to be a laser-based time of flight system. And that takes its information over iLink and passes it to the second piece of the system, which is the sensor integration gateway. And this happens to be the SIG 200. And that takes the information in over iLink and passes it to Ethernet. So once the data is on Ethernet, you can manage that data locally or on the cloud. And when that data is on the cloud, you can now take that data to help with your yields and your productivities and your costs. And now I want to turn it over to Pradeep and Deepak to show you actually how we take care of the software. Okay, so now what we'll do is go to the software side of things where we take data that came in from the sensors that you've heard about. Um, sensor data that uh, we have from the process side or the operational side of things, as well as the data that's coming in from the sensor's health information. We take these data and display it on the user interface that we, we are seeing here. And the user interface that we have here is basically built on a very open industry 4.0 uh, technology concept where you can easily design uh, the screens, the, the graphs, the time series, data that's flowing, as well as uh, put in notifications and alarms and uh, target data that you want to track that you can then uh, keep and analyze further. Now, what, what this allows you is to take the data, the raw data that's coming in from these sensors and then make it a meaningful data for your operations or for your analysis that you're trying to do. And uh, if, you, if you want to do different analysis or if your operations change, you can then change the, the screens that you have here to match your new requirements. And this is easily done without uh, engineering work or development work. This is all configurable by you. So that's the beauty of these, uh, the uh, field analytics application that you see here. You're able to connect to any sensors uh, that we have and third-party sensors bring data in, display it, and then build reports and the custom alarms and so on. Now the next thing we'll see as you go through the tour is the different sensors and the screen that's tied to the, these um, sensors in the, in the campus. Uh, this software is called as Field Analytics, as Pradeep mentioned. And in this particular case, we have a distance sensor that measures the distance between the device and its target. Uh, in this particular case, the device not only measures the distance, but also measures the optical signal quality of the distance being measured. And in this case, as the, um, as the object in front of it is moving, the signal quality also changes as is the distance as is also being changed. Now, where could this be used, right? Uh, let's take an example of a use case where uh, a customer is manufacturing solar panels and they're interested in understanding the, the quality of the solar panel manufacturing. Uh, if they use an application such as this, they will be able to actually use the distance measurement and see if the distance is being consistently measured to see if there is any kind of warpages or deformations made on the solar panels surfaces. Um, a larger and a much more potentially important benefit is that using the data uh, that is produced by the field analytics software, this customer will be able to also utilize a trending of all this bad, data, bad quality data and see if they can be used to uh, uh, make continuous improvements into their process. Uh, in this particular case, the application uh, that you're seeing here took us about five minutes to, to create. Uh, and this is because of the inbuilt features of field analytics, as Pradeep mentioned. So as you're going to see a lot of uh, such applications in the production floor where it's going to follow the same pattern where you have a, a sensor and a gateway device such as this and a, a dashboard or an application that is, that is used to, 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 to visualize the, the production information that is going on in the production floor. Thank you.